This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store, Forged Irish Doubt, FreeBets.com. Delighted to be joined by Johnny Nelson. We've just seen, I mean, an amazing heavyweight uh, British title fight there. I suppose a little bit bittersweet, a draw um, between Fabio Wardley and Fraser Clark, but just sum up that, what we've just seen there, if you can. So you saw youth, uh, the ignorance of youth in Fabio. Fabio was unpredictable, he was, the timing was, was enough to, to, to frustrate um, um, uh, Fraser. Uh, he's an orthodox shot, caught Fraser off guard. And so early on, he was struggling, even though Fraser's shape stayed in, all the way through consistently. And that's what got him the draw, because towards the back, the, the, the last quarter of the five, Fabio's start, shape started to fall to pieces, he was exhausted. So he's used. And his, his energy got him through. Both fighters, I agree. Uh, you know, before they said it, what you, they said, what do you think? I said, I Fabio's got it by one round, it's a draw. And, and so nobody can really disagree with it, even though Fraser got a point taken off and put him low, got put down. I just think, what a fight, what a fight. Now both fighters will go back and lick the wounds. And uh, what a great fight. It was a baptism of fire for, for Fraser. To, to, to get the, the more professional experience under his belt. Uh, for Fabio, he went in there with a, a, a shaped, smart contender. Fabio's gone up in my estimation, I've got to tell you that, because I, I thought Fraser would be just too tight and sharp for me. I always thought the rounds would be a problem to see how Fraser matures through the rounds, and, and that's how it turned out. Do you think Fraser showed a lot in the, showed, showed a lot there that he showed, you know, Wardley, I suppose, would you have him as Jin is a favourite there, but but Fraser showed, you know, I can mix it with, with these good guys with these good guys on a professional Fraser's level. Fraser's experience all the way through the amateurs with the people he sparred and worked with um, uh, got him through. Fraser's experience of of, of of being in the gym sparring with the Joyce's and your, your your AJs and everybody else. That's what got him through. So when he's hit and hurt, he knew how to compose himself, not, not give up heart. And that's what got him through. Um, and Fabio, I keep saying Fabio, he got up in my estimation because he just kept digging in, man. Yeah. And he, not a, a couple of times Fraser hit him and hurt him. But I tell you, when he hit Fraser, Fraser looked hurt, man. But Fraser came through. Who do you think will be, like, they'll both be gutted, but who do you think will be the more gutted out of the two? Probably Fraser, would you say? Fraser will be gutted. Fraser will be gutted. Fabio, you know, he'll, he'll have learned a lot from that fight. A hell of a lot from that fight. They come back again. They both come back with different tactics. The one thing you can't turn back is time. Uh, uh, and Fabio was just seemed to just physically fresher of the two. Uh, Fraser's shape was everything, uh, and that's what pulled him through. Rematch? Yeah, yeah. We hope so. We hope so. But it's a case of will Fabio choose that? Will he do that? Are they paying him enough money for, for doing that? I don't know. I did also want to talk about uh, Florian Marco against Chris Congo, um, a great performance from Chris Congo. And really, when he's back against the wall, he showed what he was made of. You know, before that fight, when asked what I thought of the fight, um, and I said to Chris, you know, you've got to box him under pressure. And if you, uh, and if you don't, and you get sucked in, he's going he's to beat him. And I actually was impressed with, with Chris Congo, because Chris Congo, the second half of the fight, he used his boxing IQ and beat him. And that's what beat, beat, beat Florian, he was frustrated, he had to do everything possible to drag him into the fight. And I didn't think Chris could hold that shape, but he did, uh, and, and I commend him. So when asked before, I said, I think, I think Mark will pull it off, because I didn't think Chris could pull it through. Uh, but, um, and Chris did, Chris did really well, deserved the win, um, boxed really well, uh, boxed maturely, and showed his skill. And just final one from myself, um, Adam Azim and uh, Harlem Eubank done a, a face off, or a, it's a, in advanced, term, a, advanced talks, um, but I suppose your thoughts on that? Good fight, good fight, it uh, gets you talking, bit the headliner, um, I think it would suit, you know, suit the fans, suit Adam, uh, again part of his development, and uh, so why not? Johnny Nelson, thank you for taking time to meet you, always a pleasure mate, and yeah, enjoy the uh, rest of the uh, week, top man, thank you, cheers mate.